we definitely do not want technical drawings like this. These these views are nasty. Like if you look at this here, it's crooked, like in multiple ways. In terms of putting dimensions on this, our dimensions would be goofy. Sometimes the numbers come up goofy because the views are kind of angled. These views are, are not very helpful. We want these down here again should be like the dead on front view up here dead on top view over here dead on side view we don't want any of this crooked business messing up our brains hard to picture what's going on and like i said the dimensions it just doesn't help us so the, the purpose of this lesson is we're going to figure out well how do we fix these crooked views how do we actually do that the most common problem that i've seen is it happens when people are in their assembly and what happens is usually usually um like an angled piece if you have like a piece that's slightly angled or if you have like a, a round piece or a cylinder sometimes depending on when you place those pieces in let's say that's the first plate the first piece that you place in is a goofy shaped piece that can sometimes mess up the whole assembly in terms of that whole assembly being um, correctly how do you say oriented and I've seen it happen with just using other flat pieces as well so I'm not exactly sure sometimes why this happens but basically, one way you can check and see if your if your views are going to be crooked or not is like let's say if I were to click front so on my view cube, I click front, and then I can see that I have like kind of like a goofy look here. It's kind of angled. Well, that's going to tell me right there that as soon as I place this object into my technical drawing, that that's just going to I'm going to have crooked views. It's going to look really bad. There's different ways to fix it. One of the ways you can fix it, you can right click this view cube and you can reset your view to home and whatever you can kind of mess around with that and I have a, a video lesson that kind of explains that that doesn't always fix it though and it can still leave you with crooked views from what I have seen what works almost all the time uh, one of the best ways to fix these crooked views and kind of these simple assemblies is what you actually need to do is you need to insert constraints on these different planes in my browser here you see that I have the word origin that I expanded. So again, every time we're working assemblies, you gotta have these pluses open so you can see your constraints. But so right now for origin, I click plus by origin. Now I can see my three different uh, combinations of axes. So Y, Z, X, Z, X, Y. So the number one way that I've seen to solve this problem is actually quite simple. So I have this X, Y plane, and all that I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna constrain, I'm gonna mate, like let's say one piece, I'm gonna I'm gonna just designate or say that this one piece is gonna be my anchor piece. I'm gonna anchor this one piece to at least two different axes. You need to do it at least two twice, two different times, two different axis combinations there. So I'm gonna mate this edge to that XY plane. I click apply, and then now I have to do it to at least one more. So let's say I want to do that to the XZ. So I click XZ. I can see that it. Um, that XZ plane is highlighting. Uh, now let's say I'm going to mate this, this side, because this side is, what would you say, parallel to that. So I'm going to mate this side to there. I click apply. Boom. But So in general, that's, that's what you should try. And then you might have to mess around with this cube a little bit after that. But that's the first step I recommend is get one piece anchored in. And honestly, I really, really, really recommend that you do what, like what I just did there, anchoring, let's say, your first piece, anchoring your first piece to two different axes right away. Because what can happen is if, if you assemble your whole thing and then you do what I just did later on, if something's not assembled perfectly, like parts can like fall off. It'll look like your thing like exploded. Something will go somewhere funky, especially if you're dealing with angles and cylinders and circles. Sometimes just goofiness happens. So my number one recommendation, so you don't end up getting a headache doing this kind of stuff. Constrain your first piece that you place in your assembly, your very first piece that you place in your assembly, constrain it to two of these different plane combinations. So that one piece, that one piece should have two constraints on it to those, uh, those planes there. Try it out. See how it goes, and good luck.